G'day guys, welcome back. Feels like I haven't poured for a week. Been so busy. <laughs> I'll do a couple of pours today and um, so I've got something to upload for you for the next couple of days because I actually missed a day yesterday. Oh my gosh. First time in I don't know how long I've actually missed a day of sending a video up. All right, today, jiggle pour. <clears throat> now, a jiggle pour, I just call it a jiggle pour because I do this with the cup and I kind of jiggle it. Um, a straight pour is if you're just pouring the paint straight out, um, but I'm just going to move it a little bit, so I just call it a jiggle pour. Um, but that's just the technique. <clears throat> uh, and I am using Floetrol. Good old Floetrol for pouring medium. Now, I don't know if this is the same Floetrol that uh, everyone else gets. This is the Australian one. I assume that it's like made in a factory somewhere and distributed worldwide. So I don't know if it's the same. I would assume so as what you get in the States. Um, I have mixed that one part Flow Troll to one part Artist Loft and then I've added um, half of the Satin Enamel. So I had, what have I got? 80 grams of Flow Troll, 80 grams of paint, 40 grams of satin enamel okay so that's what's my white there that's going to be my background and then my other colors are just uh, Liquitex basics and I've mixed them two parts flow troll to one part paint I've got turquoise blue and I have got bright aqua green phthalo blue that one and then the navy I added phthalo blue and just a blob of black to make it into a navy so that's that one and then I've got Extreme Sheen, Deco Art Extreme Sheen in copper. That's this one. And I've actually made that quite thick because my metallics just vanish. I've done that full bottle, which is, say, 60 grams, to 30 grams of Floetrol. So it's two parts paint, one part Floetrol. So it's quite thick. But I find I have to do that, otherwise it just disperses and, and vanishes and I don't even see my metallics. Ratio. So first of all, I'm going to, don't want to use all of this because I want to keep some for my layers, but I just want to spread it just so that my paint will flow easily. Now you can, if you want to, do, you know, your puddle of white um, and pour into it and then spread your white around it. I just find it's easier to do this than having to try and spread paint around a puddle of poured paint. So, but that's just me. Is get this done real quick. It doesn't have to be a thick layer of white. All you're doing is just using it as a flow enhancer so that your paints, when you do your pour, whether it's a straight pour or a jiggle pour, um, a ring pour, whatever it's going to be, that it slides around easily and keeps its shape. Because if it doesn't slide around easily, it can sort of Oops, there's something in there. It can lose its shape and kind of get stuck on areas. And uh, you might lose your rings. All right, so that's that white coat done. And now I'm just going to pour... Well, actually, I won't pour the puddle yet because I want to use some of that white. Let's just move that there. <clears throat> this is a... Oh, what is it? It says 540 mils on the bottom, so I think it holds about two cups worth. Now, for this pour, I don't want to use a lot of white. I don't want the white centre like I normally would do. So if I'm doing something like that, uh, where I have the white centre, not doing that. I'm hoping to get like more of a aqua turquoise centre, and I'm not using gold as I normally do. I'm using copper, so just, just changing it up a little bit. Right, so I'm going to put some turquoise in first. And then the navy. I've got it written down here, what I want to do. I'm going to try for um, like more layers than I normally would do. Try anyway, we'll see. And then I've got the phthalo blue. And copper so see i haven't got any white yet oh that was a lot of copper and i want the aqua next to the copper i think that will look really pretty so that's going in there and then a little bit of white um 
So that's all the colours. Now I'll start again and repeat. Hopefully I'll have enough to do three layers. I have got a little bit more of the navy and the blue because I want that on the outside. I only, I'm only going to do two layers of white and two layers of copper and then on the outside I don't want to have any like um, you know clouds or pebbles or anything like that. I'm trying just to have the outside blurred colours and then all those feature things happening in the centre. So I'm not going to put them on the outside. Okay, so that's my two layers of copper in there. So that copper can go and sit over there in the naughty corner. Um, and then I've got the white. So that's all the white I'm using. The rest of the white I'll use for my puddle. And then the rest, I've got about half a cup. So the rest of the cup's just going to be other colours. I don't want to have, as I said, I don't want to have all those um, feature things popping up in on the edges. So... I'll just use up the rest of these colours. Looks like that's going to be the end of my turquoise. So I mixed up about 700 grams of paint all up, including my, my white. It's probably going to be too much, but I don't know. It's just easier to mix up a big cup. Actually, maybe this cup holds a bit more than 500. I'll use all that green up now, beautiful aqua green. And you can see how I'm not putting any of the white or the copper in the, the top half of the cup. And I'm just going to see if that will give me the look that I'm after. Let's finish with <clears throat> navy. I've got a little bit of the blue left only because I can't fit it in. And I can use that on my corners if I want to. So I'm hoping that these all these bluey colours will you know spread out to the outside. So I've got a little bit of the blue left, I'll leave it there. The copper, well, I've got half of that left, I can use that for another pour. My big cup, bring this back into frame. Now I'm going to just pour a puddle of white. Oops, it's a little bit contaminated. I've got paint on my hand, that won't matter at all. Okay. Alright, now as I said, I'm just going to do a, a jiggle pour and I'm going to see if I can go a little bit slowly, slower, I'll come around this way so that you can see more easily what's coming out of the cup. So I'll probably get a bit of a blob first because it's so full. I'm going to support it under here. <clears throat> and off we go. See how I'm just jiggling the cup up and down and that's what gives me those fingerlings and I do need to get quite close otherwise the fingerlings wobble and they don't um, like have a nice rounded edge if they wobble too much so I'll try and get as close to the surface as I can so I'm kind of doing folds with the paint the paints coming out in like a sheet and I'm like folding it over itself. And then as the paint empties out of the cup, you need to slow down a little bit so that you can still get your beautiful ribbon shape and your fingerlings now i just call them fingerlings because they look like little stumpy fingers if you did a straight pour without jiggling like this you're more likely to get like um 
wings with points. Um, but I like these little stumpy finger looks, the, um, the fingerlings, so that's why I do the jiggles. So I like that look. And then you have to try and very carefully catch the end without sticking your finger in the painting. Oh, look at, how, look at that. My gosh, that copper. I used such a little bit of it and it still took over, didn't it? But I don't have any around the outside. I may still have too much in there because when I poured it in, it just, you know, I had a big blob all at once. So I may have to reduce that amount that I actually put in the, the two layers. But we'll see how it goes. Give it a quick torch, popping bubbles. Got some pebbles happening here, the white pebbles. When I do the gold, I tend to get some gold pebbles. I'm not sure if the copper works the same way. <clears throat> it is looking like I've got a lot of copper, isn't it? I'm getting a bit of a, um, a purple hue there. Look at that. I didn't even use purple. What's that from? Maybe it's the copper. Looks like it's the copper and the navy together, maybe. What do you think? <laughs> Making that purple hue. Because I did not use any purple at all. All right, let's go around in a circle first. Now just go slow, you don't want to lose your pattern. Oh wow, I don't know where to start. I love this here. It's like that blue bay there. <laughs> oh dear. So it's always these two sides that you end up liking the most, where the colours sort of meet in the middle. And these are a lot of, um, you know, <clears throat> metallic, so I tend to sort of take those off first. So let's go off to this corner. I'm losing my blue that I had. I obviously didn't put enough blue in the last half of the cup. I thought I had, but it does look as if I've got a little bit too much copper. <laughs> Next time, less copper, more blue. Okay, back to the middle. Go off to this corner down here next. And I'm going to try and keep as much of that blue as I can. Just help it a little bit. Because I want to keep that blue back to the middle. And then we'll keep the momentum of the paint going because it's heading in that direction. So let's take it over to the other corner. It wants to go that way. Paint's just kind of rolling over itself. I might not have had enough white background. Might not have had it thick enough, I guess. Because it is rolling over itself. Okay, so once it's back in the middle, uh, we'll go off and do these corners and we'll go over the corners because we've got lots of the copper there, so it doesn't matter if, it, if we lose some. We've got plenty of paint. Now, I'm not going to like this. I know I'm not going to like that afterwards, so I'm going to get rid of it now before I go back into the opposite direction. 
because I've left those before previously and I've been upset with them because I didn't like them so I always get rid of them now when I can up to the other corner over we go oh look at that copper shining oh when I pick it up and put it towards the window there it really shines all right, now I just need to look at the composition. Wipe my hands. It's a little bit, a little bit skew with. <laughs> I probably didn't do all that well with my my tilting, but um, not too bad. All right, I'll leave it like that for a minute and have a look at it. Give it a torch. Uh, I, I definitely do have too much copper though. Look at that. Let's give it a torching. Popping bubbles. I do like this aqua in the middle, this turquoise. This one kind of got lost. I can see a little bit of it, but certainly not as much as I would have liked to. I did want it to be a little bit more prominent than that. I'm just going to fix up my sides because I haven't gone over the sides just in that little area there and that corner. And I need some more blue for this corner. So not bad for a first, a first attempt, um, but yeah, so next time I want to see if I can get this one to show up a little bit more, maybe it needs to go in first, but I do like that, that turquoise against the copper, so I'm not sure, maybe I need to make it thicker. Mm, looks like it's an opaque colour. <coughs> I don't know, I don't know why it's kind of all vanished. But that's okay, I'll have another go at this, these colours, as I do. <laughs> Fill that little bit in there. Whoops, I need some darker paint, darker colour for there. Let's grab that nice big amount. Use a nice big amount, let it flow down on its own. That can make its own little pretty pattern down the side. I've missed a lot of corners, haven't I? I thought I was tilting well, but I missed quite a lot of areas. Mm, I'm a bit lopsided in the centre there. This kind of should move around, but I'm not going to move it now. I obviously didn't tilt exactly right but then hey I mean I've said to you guys before you don't have to have things matchy matchy hey things in nature aren't matchy matchy um, I'm just wondering if I need to get some of that copper off see I like this area here better uh, where I can see the um, aqua through the copper that's quite a big block of copper there but I'm not sure I might ruin the whole composition if I no I'm just gonna leave it because I can see the middle moving and I do like my my fingerlings that I've got there and I love that turquoise on each side there got a little bit of white happening there a little bit of white happening there but I haven't got that big block of white in the center like I usually do so that's what I was trying out today, just to see if I could get it not to have 
the big block of white and maybe have a different colour for a change. So, yeah, happy with that. I'll take you down for a close-up and you can see what you think. Well, you might like all that copper there. But you can see how the copper has kept its fingerling shape. If I don't have the copper so thick, it just um, disperses and mixes in with the other colours and it doesn't hold those fingerling shapes. I've tried it, making it thinner and it just does not work. Okay. center. You can see the fingerlings, they've kept their shapes. Put it back on autofocus, I think that's better. Hopefully it's focusing as I'm moving. So we've got a bit of white happening there. And then on the very edge there, that you can see that's where I had the top half of the cup. That's just the, yes, there's a fly again. Hello, there's an Aussie fly. Look at that, bit of nature. <laughs> I'll get you in a minute, it's just you wait. Get near my painting. So yeah, um, on the edges there, as I was saying, uh, that's the area that just had all those blues and turquoises. So that's what I was hoping for, more like that. So next time, reduce the amount of copper you can see the aqua there in the copper. So it is still really pretty. I was just hoping to have more blue on the outside. Kind of run out of blue, even though I did make lots of blue. Yeah, look at that. That's my favourite little shot just there. <laughs> really pretty. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, maybe one of them I can do that aqua green um, in the bottom of the cup instead of this turquoise. Maybe I can do that next time because I don't want to have two paintings exactly the same, do I? So maybe I can do that um, and then have the <clears throat> aqua green in the middle where the turquoise is now and then maybe I won't lose lose it that way. So let's try that. I'll do that next time. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.